So hello guys and welcome to another episode of Link's Builds of the Week. In this series, I make some vehicles in Tears of the Kingdom that are either funny, functional, efficient, and yeah, the first one I have here is pretty interesting. His Link is no longer Link, he's now Heisenroll, because I made a Breaking Bad RV in Tears of the Kingdom. Well, I mean... At least it kind of loosely looks like it. <laughs> so yeah, I'm out here in the desert, because obviously we want to be far away from any civilization, especially Albuquerque. But yeah, so I have some cooking pots in here, because we're going to cook some food, of course. What else did you think I was going to make? So yeah, this is a pretty fun way of getting out and just anywhere. You can kind of bring this anywhere. It's the portable cooking machine, I guess. So yeah, Link is now the one who locks. So let's move on to the next vehicles. So the next vehicle that I'm going to look at here is another efficient vehicle. Um, kind of like the last episode, how I had two small wheels, but this one might be even simpler. Because this one consists of one small wheel, a stabilizer, and then a control stick on the top. So, yeah. So this doesn't require that many materials. And it's really fun to use. Very efficient, since it uses very little battery power. So yeah, I think this is a pretty cool device. Though the only problem is, it's not gonna work on all types of terrain like especially like sand and things and for more rugged terrain it might have some problems due to the small wheel and everything but for open plains like this area i feel like it works pretty well and just like the vehicle that i looked at in the last video that used the small wheels it's pretty fast so yeah Overall, it's a pretty efficient device. So the next thing that I built here are some battle robots. And this was suggested by someone in the comments of the last video. So these are pretty cool. Basically, you have a homing cart with some Zonai weapons such as cannons or beam emitters, anything like that, and then put a construct head on it. So yeah. Let's bring these closer, and then we can use these in battle. Just make sure they're close enough here. Let's move the other one over here. With the beam emitters. And I think these look pretty cool, too. Like the way that I designed them. You just have to make sure it doesn't attack you. But yeah, these could help you battle. As long as you have enough battery power. Actually, I'm gonna charge them up again. Let's eat something, just to make sure I'm not low on health. It may not be as effective against silver enemies, but it's still pretty cool. Like, I know there are more effective ways of defeating these enemies, but using these, um... Using these, um, battle robots is just pretty cool. Yeah, the one over here still, um, shooting out some cannons from here. But yeah, I think this is pretty cool. So the final vehicle that I'm going to look at in this video is a plane that I made. And this is fairly similar to a plane design that was popular a couple weeks ago, but this is a little slimmer and a little sleeker since it uses wood planks instead of like the regular wood platforms. And there's also 
fans on the end as well, kind of similar to that design. And I also have a cannon here, so we can go ahead and raid this base. So yeah, I kind of like how this controls here. Though it does use a lot of battery power, so that's like the one downside to this. But it is pretty fun to control. But yeah, even though this uses a lot of battery power, at least unlike the wing, it doesn't break after a minute. So this can be useful for kind of going up um, to areas with like a pretty steep cliff. But it is pretty cool overall. So anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. And make sure to check out my Discord server if you want to. Goodbye.